New this morning, after his body went unidentified for decades, an East Providence World War II soldier being brought home today. Back in March, the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency identified the remains of Private First Class George B. Thomas. 12 News reporter Joe Cortez joins me now live with the details on today's military service. So this took obviously a long time, about 80 years or so, right, to come Quite to this point. Quite some time, 80 years. I mean, it's new technology, being able to use DNA to analyze everything, but it's going to be a very special day for the family and friends of the well-known Army veteran. He was known as Bud Thomas. Now, he'd been missing in action since November 24th of 1944. That was when his unit was fighting the German forces in the Hurtgen Forest. Now, Thomas's body was not recovered during the battle, and he was never reported as a prisoner of war during one of the bloodiest conflicts of World War II. Reports say his battalion was targeted by intense artillery fire and was last seen alive taking refuge in a foxhole. It wasn't until four years later in 1948 when his remains were discovered in the forest, but according to the DOD's defense, a POW MIA accounting agency, the 31 year old's body was finally identified this year by circumstantial evidence as well as DNA analysis. Now fast forward to today, there will be a special burial with military honors taking place at Rhode Island's Veterans Cemetery in Exeter. George Thomas's remains will finally be put to rest at around 1 p.m. His obituary said that he was a selfless and courageous individual who dedicated his life to serving his country. Now, Private First Class Thomas is memorialized on the tablets of the missing at the Henri Chapelle American Cemetery in Belgium. And this is the second time this year the agency has identified remains of a Rhode Island soldier. Now, when the newer technology with this all happening and the families and friends of our fallen soldiers, they finally get a chance to go and see the final resting place of their loved ones which, Kate, is something that's very important to our veterans and their families. Yeah, and it's just heartbreaking to think that so many of his family members probably didn't live to this day to see that there was finally some closure here and all the other families that are probably going through something similar, hoping their loved ones I remains get identified soon too. Yeah, and you know, the technology really opens up a wide range of possibilities for our future. Oh. All right, thanks, Joe.